All right, so with growth in time, so often it is helpful to know how much should be invested now to meet a future desired amount. So individuals and individual investors usually want to know the rate of return for their investments. And one way to understand how investments are growing is to know how long it takes for an investment to double in value. Now, the compound and continuous compound interest formulas can be used to answer such a question. If the values of all but one of the variables in a formula are known, then we can solve for one of the remaining variables. So how much should you invest now at 10% to have $8,000 toward the purchase of a car in five years if the interest is, and I don't know why they don't have the interest there, but let me see if it has it in the book. Uh, oh, it's 10%, never mind, it's 10 right here. All right, so uh, let's go with this one. So now uh, we have, again, A is equal to T times one plus R over M times M times to the T. Okay, so now what are we looking for? Uh, we have to have 8,000 towards per. So we want a future value of 8,000, it says. We're looking for P. We have one plus. Now our rate is 0 0.1. And we're compounding quarterly. So that's going to be uh, 4. And so then that's going to be 4 times in our 5 years. And so then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have to, well, let's not put equals here because we're going to divide all that out. Because it's always best to type in one thing into your calculator. 1 plus 0 0.1 over 4, and then 4 times 5. And we're going to divide that side by the same thing. And now P is going to be equal to what? Let's test that out. So we had 8,000 divided by, and then we had our one plus, uh, what was it again? Point 0.1, that was point 0.1, uh, divided by a quarterly, and then raised to the power, and we had four times five. And so four, eight, Eight two point one seven. If we round it to the nearest penny, so where my writing? There it is. Four eight eight two point one seven to the nearest penny, and so that's how much we're going to have to invest if we compound quarterly for five years at ten percent to get eight thousand dollars. And again, it's just solving for one of the different variables. What if we want to do continuously compounding? Well, continuously compounding, we're going to have, again, A equals per. And so we want 8,000 equals P E to the 0 0.1 times T, which is 5. So we're going to have to divide by E to the 0 0.1 times 5. We'll have to divide that by E to the 0 0.1 times 5. And so P is going to have to equal. And so now we have 8,000 divided by, and we had E to the 0 0.1 times 5. And so we're going to have to have 4852.25. Okay, so. forty-eight. 52.25. And so that's how much we have to invest now to get $8,000 at 10% interest, compounding continuously for five years. Okay, So 4882.17 for quarterly and 4852.25 for continuously. All right, so let's stop there. We'll come back with more.